So we had an unusual piece, never seen one come into the shop. I've been in this business over 40 years and uh, what came into the shop was a headboard. This is a headboard. I'm actually standing in where the seat used to be for a sofa. It probably had a beautiful upholstered seat and um, somebody took the seat out and it came to me. I didn't do this. Um, it came to me with the seat out just like, as you see now and somebody had um, kept the old upholstery too. So what they did was they gutted all, they gutted, uh, they took the front rail off, they gutted it, they took all the springs out, and the only thing they did on this, for this was such a well-made piece, they only cut the legs down here, right here, so that the bed could just fit inside here. And this is a headboard. It's amazing, isn't it? Never seen it. Now, so this was a family piece, and the person who's doing it is a little younger, they want to make it a little bit more contemporary, so I want to tell you what I'm going to do. These are three piece uh, pieces, individual pieces. So what we're going to do to kind of smooth it up, make, make it look a little bit more contemporary, is we're going to remove the piping, we're going to remove the buttons, we're going to have it pull over, and she's going with a, like a gray, you know, uh, more of a like a modern, uh, like a mid-century type color and fabric. So I'm really excited. Uh, what, I'm, uh, what I'm excited about too is the repurposing. I, I, I think this is a great idea to repurpose because what happens a lot of times with these antique sofas is the seat does does go out those springs go out people get a price an estimate and um, they think it's too high and they end up throwing it away so if you have an antique sofa at home I think a great way to repurpose would be just what they did I mean it's better than throwing it away I mean I would have rather have seen it restored as to the original but um, oftentimes that's not not possible but what a great use for I mean, people are always wanting headboards, too. A great use uh, for an antique sofa that's going to make it out to the landfill anyhow. So, so uh, I think it's interesting and um, always about repurposing and recycling here at, at Upholstery on Broadway and Broadway Upholstery School. And uh, hopefully that uh, we all, uh, you know, contribute, make our little contributions to, to help the environment. And I think this is one of them. Okay, so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the outside bag just to see what's going on here, to see how these are held in. I suspect that like some of the older pieces that they're, they're screwed from the back. Tear the other back off. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna focus on this one panel just to show you guys. Let's see, I think this must be one of the screws holding that on. Now I see that there was some rebuilding here now. Um, this is a new piece. This is an old piece. This is an old piece. This is the new piece that they put on. And um, to make it into the headboard. Very clever. I like the idea. So, I, I think I have all the screws um, that were put on through the back. So all this is upholstered for us, and the outside back's the last thing to be done. It covers over all those screws. So let's see what's going on underneath here. Oh, look at that. It came out pretty good. So it's a nice fitted back. So that's going to get upholstered. So the piece that they added uh, to make to, to pull off this headboard, they kept these are the original arms. They half they cut the leg in half so that it wouldn't be out here so that the bed can fold come in the bed frame can come in the bed sits up you can actually see right here where the bed hits on the top here so this is how much is showing okay and this is how much is showing on the on the back that's why they have the buttons above here so what I'm going to do is just to explain and to close out this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to take all these off strip them down upholster them over and then put them back upholster this put them back upholster the bottom and then I'm done
the back here that are holding these panels on. Very stubborn, so there's a bolt. I got it loose enough so I can take it off by hand. Let's see how they did that. Didn't think there was enough wood over here to create such a long screw in there. Still needs help taking it out. So it's in an area where it's, I'm working totally blind. I think I'm getting it now. There we go. Wow. Let's see what they hit on there. Oh, you know what it was? It was a regular screw, but I was feeling they had a nut in there too because they didn't want to. The reason they did that is they didn't want to go all the way through to the front so they have the space. So that's a space. Uh, it's a good idea actually, but when I, I'm working blind and I felt it, and it felt like a, it was, it was a nut, and I had to use a different tool, not realizing that you know the flat end of the screwdriver would have worked too. But it worked, it worked just the same because I was screwing it out. So that's good. We'll use the same screws to put this back in. So we got all our pieces. We got the front panels off. That, that gives us entry access to the inside arms and the outside arms. Actually the inside arms get upholstered first and the panels get on and then screwed on and then the outside arms go over. And then we have our three pieces for the backs all stripped away and we're ready to start stripping it further the fabric and then start cutting the fabric out and upholstering this. But I thought this was a neat project to show you. Um, and we'll see you next time.